to buy a resale house in Mumbai with a budget of 2 crore. You find an agent who shows you several properties in your budget. After inspecting a few properties, you find the one you like and negotiate and finalize the price with the seller. You obtain all the legal documents and make a down payment. Also transfer the ownership of the property to your name. Congratulations, you are now a proud owner of a resale house in Mumbai. Sounds easy? Well, it is. If you follow these important steps, let's understand each and every step in detail. That will help you out while buying a resale house in India. Hi, I'm Yoshu. Before we start this video, do consider subscribing to our channel for more such videos and hit the bell icon for future updates. Now, without any further ado, let's get started. The first step is determining your budget. So here comes to know your budget. How much are you as a buyer willing to pay for a house? Don't only consider the base price of the property, but also costs like down payment, moving cost, closing cost, any renovation that might be needed. Also be sure of the number of rooms and toilets you want. For instance, if you are planning to finalize a flat which costs 1 crore, you also have to keep in mind that you would have to give a down payment of 10 to 20 20%. Say 10 to 20 lakhs while booking the flat, it could also take you 3 to 4 lakhs or even more for renovation purposes depending upon the condition of the flat. Also adding how much will you spend in moving in. So consider all these factors while you decide on your budget. Second point is research the market and consider the location. Research the real estate area where you want to buy a house. Look at different areas you are interested in and compare the prices. You can visit nobroker.com to search for resale houses in your preferred location. No Broker provides a comprehensive list of properties along with their price, location and other details. Locality and neighborhood is one of the the major factors while buying a house. As you will be living in that surrounding, consider the availability of amenities like schools, parks, malls, hospitals. Know the crime rate of the area, transport services. For example, if you want to buy a house in Delhi and have options like Mayur Vihar or Saket, you would prefer Saket as the amenities over there are way more and it is considered much more safer and one of the most prime area of Delhi than other areas like Mayur Vihar. Next is to know the circle rate of the area where you are buying a house. Circle rate is a minimum price at which a commercial property, ready house, apartment or land can be registered for sale. Different circle rates can be found in different parts of the city. A circle rate is an excellent tool for controlling property price speculation. In India, the land is governed by the state. District administrations are in charge of establishing a standard rate for the land and other properties across the cities, below which no transaction can be registered. The circle prices may vary from location to location since cities are huge and the value of one area may be very different from the value of another. Before buying a resale property, you should know the current circle rate of that area where you are buying the house just to make sure that you are not overpaying. Next step would be shortlisting the properties that you have seen and inspecting them. It is very important to conduct a home inspection. This will help you identify any issues that need to be fixed before you make an offer. You can either hire a professional home inspector or do the inspection yourself. What can you do? During the inspection, look out for the following. Structural issues such as cracks in the walls, foundation or roof. Plumbing problems such as leaks, drainage issues and water damage. Electrical problems such as outdated wiring or faulty electrical panels. Pest infestations such as rodents or insects. Safety hazards such as faulty smoke detectors or carbon monoxide detectors. If you identify any issues, make sure to factor in the cost of repairs or renovation while negotiating the price. 
Next, talking about verifying the property documents. Before making an offer, it's essential to verify the property documents to ensure that the seller is the rightful owner of the property and has all the necessary approvals and permits. This will help you avoid any legal issues in the future. Some of the essential documents you need to verify include sales deed. This is the primary document that proves ownership of the property. Second certificate is the encumbrance certificate. This document shows whether the property has any legal dues, mortgages or liens. Completion certificate. This is a document that certifies that the construction of the property is complete and meets all the necessary standards and also approvals. Next comes the occupancy certificate. This is a document that certifies that the property is fit for occupancy and meets all the necessary safety standards. You can hire a lawyer or a property consultant to help you verify the documents and ensure that everything is in order. Coming to our next point which is negotiating the price and finalizing the deal. Once you have inspected the property and verified the documents, it's now time to negotiate the price with the seller. Start by making an offer that's within your budget. It's time to negotiate the price. Research the prices of similar properties in the area to ensure that you are not overpaying. For instance, if you are buying a flat in let's say Andheri, Mumbai, look out at what is the cost of similar flats in the same area. You can also use any defects that you found during the inspection as leverage to negotiate a lower price. To know the prices of the property in the area where you are buying a house, you can take a help of the tool NB Estimate available on nobroker.com which will help you with the current price of the property in a particular area. Our last point is finalizing on home loan. When you have finalized a house for yourself and are ready to buy the property now, you have to make an important decision that from which bank will you take a home loan from? Which bank is providing you with the best and low interest rate? Selecting a bank then selecting the tenure of the loan in how many years will you repay the loan as when the tenure of the loan increases, the total interest increases as well want to take a home loan but are confused by the fact how can you choose the best home loan with rising interest rates? Then check out our video interest rates on home loans. Rising interest rates how to get the best home loan. That's it for this video. I hope this guide has been helpful in giving you an idea of the steps you need to take care when buying a resale house in India. Remember to take your own time and do research before making a decision. If you have any other tips or suggestions, feel free to share them in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.